preposition. The preposition is a word or group of words used before a noun, pronoun, or noun phrase to show direction, time, place, location. Type of preposition. Here is the types of preposition, direction, time, place, location, and spatial relationships. Preposition of direction. The preposition of direction refer to a direction, like to, in, into, on, and onto. For example, she drove to the store. Drive on the grass and park the car there. Prepositions of time. The preposition of time refer to one point in time, use the prepositions in, at, and on. We also others prepositions as, since, for, by, during, with, to refer to extended time. For example, he reads in the evening. I go to work at 8 o'clock. He does laundry on Wednesdays. He will be in Toronto for three weeks. Prepositions of place. The prepositions of place refer to a place such as in, at, on, and inside. For example, she was waiting at the corner. The plates were on the shelf above the cups. The garage is opposite the house. Prepositions of location. The prepositions of location refer to a location, such as in, at, and on. For example, they live in the country. She will find him at the library. There is a lot of dirt on the window. Prepositions of spatial relationships. The prepositions of spatial relationships refer to a spatial relationship like, above, across, against, ahead of, along, among, around, behind, below, beneath, beside, between, from, in front of, etc. For example, the post office is across the street from the grocery store. The kids are hiding behind the tree. Walk toward the garage and then turn left. Conjunctions the conjunctions are words that link other words, phrases, or clauses together. Such as, and, but, for, nor, or, so, etc. For example, she likes cooking and eating, but she doesn't like washing dishes afterward. Hannah is clearly exhausted, yet she insists on dancing till dawn. The type of conjunction. There are several different types of conjunctions that do various jobs within sentence structures. They are coordinating, correlative, subordinating conjunction. Coordinating conjunctions. The coordinating conjunctions allow you to join words, phrases, and clauses that equal grammatical rank in a sentence. Such as for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. We call this fanboys. For example, she would like pizza or a salad for breakfast. Mary didn't have much money but she ate out every day. Please make notice that comma when a coordinating conjunction is joining two independent clauses. Subordinating conjunctions. The subordinating conjunctions, also known as subordinators, these conjunctions join dependent clauses to independent clauses. Like, because, since, although, as, while, though, whereas, etc. For example, before he leaves, make sure his room is clean. He drank two cups of tea because he was thirsty. Because he was thirsty, he drank two cups of tea. Please make notice that if the dependent clause comes first, use a comma before the independent clause. Correlative conjunction. The correlative conjunctions are pairs of conjunctions that work together. Such as either or, neither nor, not only but also, etc. For example, she's not only beautiful, but she's also clever. Neither the black dress nor the gray one looks right on me. Now we've finished our topic about conjunction. If you have any questions, please leave your comments in the comments section below. Thanks.